So Bing meal is a, uh, is a, a rare disorder um, and, and something that actually many years ago was just described in small cases. And now as people are getting you know, more experience, the prevalence seems to be increasing as, as awareness among clinicians is um, increasing. Um, and treatment's highly individualized. Um, so again, there's no large trials in this area. There's no prospective data in this area. So all of our information is from retrospective series and um, clinician practice is actually very much based on how institutions um, normally treat these disorders. So some clinicians favor intensive treatment options, more traditional um, therapies directed towards the central nervous system, such as um, uh, methotrexate, cytarabine-based therapies, and there's newer uh, um, BTKI inhibitors that are being used. Um, and we don't actually know, or well, there's no trials that have compared more intensive regimens to what appears to perhaps be less intensive regimens. We know that there are a number of drugs that need to penetrate the central nervous system that's important. Um, and ultimately, in the end, it's an individualized approach. You have to look at the, the kinetics of response and, and take a holistic view of it all. So I think it's really difficult to be uh, prescriptive about treatment in bing Neal syndrome. But what's exciting is that as there are more options available in um, WM treatment, I think there'll be more options available in the bing Neal setting. And also as exciting that as new generation BTKIs um, are developed, these will potentially be options. Uh, but I think we have to take a holistic view of it all.